My name is Frank Blau. I'm a senior principal consultant at Brightlight Consulting in Redmond, Washington. And I'm here today to talk to you about streaming data. Streaming data is the frontier of business intelligence today. And one of the reasons for this is that there's a need to provide data at a much lower latency than we've been traditionally supplying through static data. So what is streaming data? If you think of the standard world of data, data sits in databases. We load data in databases, maybe we extract things out of that database and transform it into another database. But essentially, we're still looking at data at rest. This is data which has been loaded maybe for performance reasons, maybe for analytic purposes, but it's still data at rest. That is, it represents the state of the data at a prior point in time. As business becomes more competitive, that latency starts to cost you money. So what streaming data says is, instead of looking at the data at rest, either at target or maybe at source for operational reasons, we're going to look at the data as it moves between systems. Maybe we're talking about things like maybe hospital data where you have some bedside um, devices collecting data and to look at that data on a daily basis to determine how a patient is doing you can understand pretty quickly how that's not fast enough to react in a life-saving way if something happens particularly if that life-saving thing is being detected through a combination of data sources say maybe if your blood pressure is below a certain amount or your pulse goes over a certain amount and those two things together indicate a condition Looking at that data at rest after the fact wouldn't help you at all. So what streaming data says is, let's develop the technology and the means to look at data as it's moving across the wire. And there are a number of very interesting products in this space, but one of the leaders is IBM with their Streams product. There's also an open source product called Storm that allows you to attach probes essentially digital probes into different places along this stream of data and sort of look at data as it goes by. Now this is different in a couple of significant ways. One of the most significant ways is that if you look at data at rest, for example, if I have a range of values in a table, I can say what's the average of the values in that table and I can look at things over days, months, weeks, years, whatever, and I can look at, I can look at some aggregate things about them. If I'm looking at data in a stream, you don't have the same concept. It doesn't really, it never really ends. It just keeps continuing on. So we have a concept in streaming data of what we call windowing. So we're looking at data as it moves across like this. Or maybe we're looking at data, one chunk of data here, and then we, when that's done, we look at the next chunk of data. These are two different kinds of window, what we call windowing schemes. Looking at data this way allows you to maybe take some of the data out of that stream and move it into a data at rest, or maybe just react to it. And the tools for doing this have matured considerably in the last couple of years, and the, the visualization of the process by which I'm taking a source and looking at it as it flows across, moving it around, um, are, they've really matured to the point where you can get some really very fast prototyping and some very quick return on your investment in streaming data technology. So this is the basis of streaming data. And there are a lot of very sophisticated things being done with it in the industry right now, particularly in both medical, um, uh, in, in, the, uh, net, in a, a power trans, the power transmission industry. These are all industries that rely very much on data in real-time modes. And they're all taking advantage of some pretty interesting things around the world of streaming data. So if you'd like more information... Um, contact us here at Brightlight or me at Frank Blau, which is um, fblau at brightlightconsulting.com.